Mask on, mask off, gentlemen. I think we're COVID compliant. Yes. Mask off. Larry Podwell, Brave and Spotlight. Got a real treat for you this afternoon. We're here at La Masseria in Palm Beach Gardens. Pepe, PGA Golf Tour professional, eight wins on the tour. Brad Faxon, formerly on the Club Raymond magazine. Pepe, thank you for having us. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm glad yes. you pushed your trip to uh, to Rome back a couple of days yes, to accommodate yeah, us. Yeah, but, just because uh, of this, yes. So I'm uh, we're thrilled. On Monday, we're yes. thrilled. Yes. Tell us about uh, well, uh, your little La baby Masseria, here. Well, uh, La was born... He says it a little nicer than you do. Do you notice yeah. that? Yeah. <laughs> La Masseria was born in New York uh, 2004. Uh, me, Pino and Enzo, my partner, decided to open uh, uh, La Masseria. And uh, we are from the south part of Italy. So me and Enzo, we are from the island of Capri. And Pino is from the region of Apulia. It's uh, from Bari. Uh, so um, we decided to open La Masseria in 2004. And we had a great success. Uh, we bring uh, food. Uh, it's like almost farm to table food. Mm -hmm. You know, because we grew up in that environment, Pino was in the, raised in an area where there's a you know farm right so we we're trying to do simple food and uh, you know bring it to our customers sure. yes fantastic beautiful setting here brad is a partner so a uh, thrill to uh, to see you here as well and uh, your role now with uh, the four restaurants is that well, correct i was lucky enough to marry into uh, the ritchie family R I C C I, and uh dory my wife's uh, older brother eddie met Pepe and kind of came up with the idea to start the first restaurant in New York City. Right. Uh, then one opened in Rhode Island where we lived, mm -hmm. then another one in New York City, and then this one down here. It's been fabulous because we live right across the street. So, and we get a good discount sometimes. Uh, <laughs> <I'm sure. laughs> That's great. We, I'm sure you do. He runs a, a tight ship here. He yes, does run yes, a tight yes, ship. Yeah. And, um, that, uh, it got voted the best Italian restaurant yes. upon Palm Beach Gardens. Uh, the service is spectacular. As you can see, it, it, every time you come here, you just want to eat whatever they put in front of you. No, this is, uh, this is a treat. Well, I mean, talking about achievement, Masseria uh, was voted best new restaurant opening in New York City on 2004. Along with that, on 2009, we were voted the best pre-theater restaurant in the theater district. And I believe last year, mm -hmm. we were voted again best pre-theater restaurant. Again, 2019. So, you know, we have a good, uh, uh, strong uh, roots in terms of uh, uh, people recognize the name of La Masseria now for the good food and uh, good service. And, uh, you know, we do this with uh, passion and love. Normally, Pepe, it's cars and coffee. Today we're going to have uh, celebration cars and vino. Vino, yes. Brad, All right, thanks tell us about what you're currently driving from Bremen. Well, I'm currently driving an X5 uh, 5.0. Um, hey, like that. I actually love it. To be honest with you, I was um, uh, nine years uh, of uh, with uh, Mercedes-Benz, mm -hmm. and um, because of my friend Nico Schettino, he's one of the salesmen that comes here a lot. We call each other brothers by injection. <laughs> um, I went in to see him one day, and uh, I walked in in the showroom, and I saw my car. And I said, uh, Nico, if you can get me in that car with a reasonable price, I would love to switch from Mercedes to BMW. And let me tell you, you it's go. been almost a year. I'm the happiest man in the world. Love to I hear that. Love it. They love take it. great care of you. And, yes. Uh, you don't have to be you reliable, don't have to be, uh, fast, and uh, pretty looking. Yes. Uh, yes. They're, uh, they're the best. They're the best. They're Motor best. Cars. Brad? I've been a BMW guy my whole life, moved down here to Florida six, seven years ago. Um, Brayman, a huge name, obviously, in Florida. Um, this is my second BMW from Brayman. I have an X4 uh, M Comp, which is a competition, which is a pretty sleek car. Um, but we, we have Steve Grossman, the GM of, the, of Brayman, is a neighbor. Um, Chris Huffman, who runs the best service mm -hmm. I've ever seen, is a good friend. We cycle together sometimes, and we're a three BMW family car right now. My wife has that? an X7, my daughter has an X3, and uh, it's great cars. Uh, I like to drive fast. Uh, that's my, my one vice. Well, I have a lot of vices, but that's one of them. I'm actually my family. I'm three. I have uh, X5, my wife X3, 
and my daughter just recently bought uh, a 320. Wow. 320. How about that? Yeah. Raymond Spotlight, six cars. We're going to go into the kitchen now and see what the chef's got for us. Okay. Good. Hello, my name is Ricardo Fayel. I'm the chef of uh, La Masseria. And today we're going to prepare a uh, lobster. That's Florida lobster. We're going to do, we're going to saute, we're going to do broiled in the oven uh, with the brandy sauce. And then also we're going to make a ravioli. This is homemade ravioli. We make this morning fresh, stuffed with um, a, pa a pumpkin, a ricotta, and smoked mozzarella. And we're going to serve with a sauce with a fresh cherry tomato and a shrimp. So we're going to start making the lobster. We're going to saute the lobster. So we're gonna give a nice color, gold color in the meat. Then we're gonna flip it and pour it for five minutes in the oven to cook a little bit. So we're gonna start to making the sauce of the ravioli. We're gonna saute a couple of garlic. So when the garlic is nice and uh, gold, we add the shrimp. Now we're gonna add the ravioli. We're gonna cook the ravioli in the hot water. We're gonna add some uh, cherry tomato. Some parsley. And we're gonna add some uh, white wine. Like three or four minutes, it's fresh pasta, so it, it's very fast. We're gonna add to the sauce. And we're gonna toss it a little bit. and we're gonna serve on the plate. And this is our first dish. The spinach pasta ravioli, stuffed with the pumpkin, smoked mozzarella, and with a little uh, uh, cherry tomato and a shrimp sauce. The lobster is cooked, it's almost done. We're gonna flip it one more time. And we're gonna do the sauce. We're gonna add brandy. And we're gonna flambe. A little bit of uh, more olive oil. We don't like too much to use olive oil. <laughs> the thing about the seafood, uh, like lobster, shrimp, we don't wanna cook too much. We don't wanna overcook. So when, uh, when you see the meat that's changing color, it's already done, you don't need to cook too much. So we're gonna put it on the plate. There we go. Now I put a little parsley. Little decoration. Now we're gonna finish with the sauce. So that's our lobster, Florida lobster special for tonight, broiled with a brandy sauce. This is absolutely amazing what we've got here. Pepe, you wanna tell us what? Yes, of course, yes. We had homemade ravioli made with spinach pasta filled with pumpkin with a sh light shrimp white wine sauce. And me and Brad, we have okay, fresh okay. lobster from Florida. It's uh, pan seared with garlic, fresh herbs, then finishing the oven with uh, brandy and white wine. Absolutely delicious. It looks delicious. It's amazing. It does not get any better than this. I'm here with And Pepe. let's try it out, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Vaxen, this looks fantastic. La we are in Palm Beach Gardens. You guys are going to love Pepe. it. Thank Danny, you. eat well, your heart yeah. out. Club Raymond Spotlight. Everybody from Bremen, come on out here this weekend, and uh, you are just absolutely going to love the feast that you're going to have here. I'm coming back tomorrow. Cheers. Gentlemen. Uh, salute. Cheers. Salute. Salute. Oh, salute. What a sound. <laughs>